What's up everybody, Tidamic Games here and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. In the last part, we uh, did a lot of grinding to try to get that grip ring. And uh, got through, went through um, Malari's cave here. Or went through Malari's mines I suppose is what they were called? I don't know. But he has permitted me to go into the human mines up here. Which are the next dungeon, so let's go ahead and get in. The Cave of Flames. Wow, it's hot in here. Come on, let's not stand around wasting time. Find that element so we can get out of here. Yeah, yeah, I got you, Weslo. Hold on, let's not break those, because maybe... Because I might need those later. Who knows? Um, Alright, which way should I go first? Up or right? Well, all good adventures go left, so let's go right. <laughs> Does that make sense? Oh, God, get away from me. Damn it. Get away from me. Oh, hey, I got lucky. And it hit the, uh, thing up there. There we go. <clears throat> Kaboom. Alright. Let's see what's inside these. Ooh. Some rupees. That's nice. Some bombs didn't really need. Alright, so we're doing good so far here. Let's go. Oh, these guys I need to use my shield against, I believe. Yep. What? Your sword won't make a dent in their thorny armor. Flip them over before you strike. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Got him. Alright. Oh, we already got a big chest. Awesome. <clears throat> I got the compass. Use it to find the location of hidden items. Press start and then L or R to, use to view the map screen. Okay. And it's there. Oh wow, there's a lot of chests. I forgot how big this uh, dungeon was. Probably end up cutting this into two parts. One of these is going to be uh, like like I just know it. So, I don't remember if I've shown you this in this playthrough or not. But, certain rupees like this will uh, turn out to be like-likes like that. And you want to try to kill them as quickly as possible because if they have a rupee on top of them, then uh, they'll take your rupees. And um, and I think uh, they also do the same thing with um, what's it called? Wait, can I not push these? Oh, is this uh, was this the room that I started in to the south? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I didn't mean to hit select. Yeah, that is the same room. Okay, so I just can't get back. So I had to go around, so if I went up, I would have just gotten to a dead end anyway. Hello there. Ah, damn it. Get out of here. There we go. And kaboom. Alright. So where are we going? God damn it. They always get me at least once. Oh, hey, drop some bombs. God damn it. Ah, oh, my headphones are dying again. Hold on a second. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I just... I had to go plug in my headphones so they wouldn't die on me in the middle of recording, which probably would have really messed up my recording because I'm pretty sure most of the audio that runs to my headphones uh, gets shown in the recording, which is why you hear that beep 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 sometimes. I mean, I wish it would... I'm pretty sure there's a way that I can have it record directly from the audio source or directly from the game source, but uh, I don't know what it... For one, I don't really want to mess around with it right now, and for two, I don't know. Whatever. Oh god, my nose is just... Ah, uh. oh, my nose. My nose is trying to fight me right now. But I will not let it win. Okay, so it looks like this is the only direction I can really go. So let's go this way then. Oh hey, what up dude? I can fight you with a gust jar. <clears throat> Kaboom. And you're dead. Ah, these guys are so much easier in this game than they are in most of the other Zelda games. Oh, hello. This must be what the humans who built this mine used to get around in here. Maybe we should hop in. Hmm, what? After all this, you don't expect me to believe you're scared. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Come on, let's go. You sure? Well. Alright, I can't open that door anyway, so... Let's go see what happens when I get into the cart here. Whoa! Holy shit! 
two jumping jellyfish, that was awful. Hey kid, what are you smiling about? I knew it was madness to risk our lives on that rickety human contraption. From now on, let's just stick to our feet. Well, I mean, your feet. Yeah, yeah. You're just a big old scaredy cat. Alright. Hello there, Mr. Bomb Guy. Oh god! I blow up. Alright, cool. Um. Oh, so I guess these guys are for, um, if you, uh... Ah, damn it! I was hoping to use him. But I guess those guys are there in case you run out of bombs and you need to start using them as bombs. But I'm doing just fine. I've got 30 bombs. Alright. Have the gush jar up for right now. Ah, good choice. I couldn't go down anyway because that area was blocked off. <clears throat> So it would have been a waste of time doing anything else than go this direction, I guess. I don't know. Uh. Hey, let me, get, let me get the fucking rupee. How interesting. So there was a portal hidden away in here, hmm? Whenever you want me to shrink you down, just hop up there and press R. Alright, well, let's go, uh... Let's do that, actually. And let's see what, uh, this animation's gonna be. Take a quick look. The animation is unique for every different uh, thing we go into. Oh, cool! No animation. That's that's always great. Oh, so I can go this way, can't I? That's interesting. Cause I can go up, and I can go this way as well. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way first because I think there's some stuff I can get through this direction. Ah, oh, no, I can't because I can't get past these. Damn it! All right. <clears throat> Guess I was wrong. Oh well. You win some, you lose some, eh? Alright. Avoid these guys, because they're gonna hurt. If I touch them, probably. Um. Aha! There's a little hole I can get through here. Hey, get out of here. Can I even fight these guys in my current state? Doesn't look like it. I can't even bomb that up there. Ah, would you look at that? I'm back in this area that I was in before. Oh, and now I'm over here. Cool. Very neato. Oh, and I can jump down there if I want to. I think this is where I'm supposed to go, right? Is there a direction I didn't go? Yeah, there was a direction to the north that I didn't go before. Um, it was up from here. Wait, what's over to the left here? Is this just where the pots are? It is. So there's an area up to the left and the north that I didn't go to. I'm kind of curious what was in there. Right in here, in this room. What's up this way? Let's go check it. Oh, can't even go down that way because there's a giant hole there. Well, in reference to me, that's a huge hole. Anyway, <clears throat> time to keep moving on. Keep on moving on. <sighs> Alright, so now I need to get downstairs, but I can't just walk down the stairs because I'm tiny. So let's just hop down the whole way. <laughs> Wait, can I walk onto these? I cannot walk onto those if I'm tiny. Lesson learned. Alright, let's get bigger again. Hey, where'd you guys come from? Get out of here. Run, bro. You got nothing. You got nothing on these hands. Alright. No, get off of there, stupid. And now I can go over here and open this chest. So I can see what's inside. Oh, I got myself the dungeon map. That's awesome. <coughs> Alright, let's check out the dungeon map. Oh. Very interesting. Um, so now I can see what the rooms are going to look like. That's good. Uh, B. No, start. I forgot B doesn't leave the start screen. Some I'll have to get used to because... That's just what I'm used to. I'm used to being able to press B to leave the screen. Alright, it looks really, really hot in that lava. 
Trust me, falling into that would be a bad idea. I'm sure you agree. I mean, yes, but like, you could also be less of a pussy about it. <laughs> nah, that wouldn't happen. He's as low. All right, let's go to the left here. All right, I can get myself a chest. Oh, nice, a kinstone piece. Awesome. And I opened up that uh area over there. <clears throat> All right. Wait, will this? I wonder if my gust jar could put these out. It does. That's awesome. Huh. Very interesting. I mean, it makes sense. It's fire. Fire bad. Oh god! Don't fall! Don't fall into the lava. There we go. That's what I thought. Oh no, this part's kind of interesting because these guys, you can attack them. They'll turn into a tiny little ball. And so now you can lift that ball and throw it. I didn't mean to throw that into the lava. Oops. Well, rip me. <laughs> so now let's pick this guy up and throw him right over here so I can grab that. Let's pick this guy up and throw him into that bottle right there. All right, so now I can walk over all these spots and I won't get stuck inside of them. See, like that. Whoop. All right, and I got myself 50 rupees from that chest over there. So, let's keep going and see what else I can do here. Oh, I can't push this this way. I'll, I can see now I can only push it upwards. Hmm. Oh, but maybe if I float over down that way, <clears throat> I could make my way there and get to it. Maybe, maybe. Just barely made it. Nice. Now, let's press this button see what it does. Oh, it opens up that door. <coughs> How nice of them. Oh god, excuse my throat. It is really killing me right now. <clears throat> Yuck. I got a horribly dry mouth, too. So let's... Uh, why did I just leave? I'm dumb. I am, like, literally the dumbest person alive. And I got myself a small key. Awesome. That's a good... That's a very good... Oh, hey. Good thing I didn't walk too far in this room, because that would have closed on me, and I wouldn't have been able to get that small key. And all of that progress would have been for naught. <clears throat> so now I can actually... Wait a second, I want to see what's up there. How do I get up that way? No, 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 maybe I'll figure it out. But now I can go this way. And I can open up this, uh... Locked door here. And get over this way. Walk across this precarious bridge. Hit this, and now we can go to where that, uh... Piece of heart I saw earlier was. Alright, let's make it. Yeah, to look at that. Oh no! I need to go back. Here, I'll get back in so we can grab it. Oh, nope, it doesn't grab the stuff when you go over it. Okay, lesson learned. Good to know. <laughs> <coughs> oh god, excuse me. Hmm. How do I get over there? Very perplexing, is it not? Alright, let's take out my shield so I can take these guys out. Not have to worry about them. Ah, get away from me. Fight me. Gotcha. Alright, so, so far so good. Oh, interesting. So I bet these will go over me if I jump into it. Yeah, that's interesting. Huh. Well, I can't use this one because it's pushed over. There's flipped over. Dang it, I can't flip it back over. Oh god, didn't realize that would happen. God damn it, lost more health than I really intended to. <clears throat> oh, also, I haven't shown you this at all yet, but I absolutely hate the way, um... What's it called? Fireworks in this game? Because it does this thing that, like... I've seen in a lot of Zelda games, and it's one of my least favorite things. And I'll try to show you if I can find another place with fire. Um, but I, I guess I can just tell you. What it does is it'll, like, it'll put your butt on fire, and then you'll run around uncontrollably, only, be able, only being able to control which direction you're going, and you can't stop. Hey, I got another piece of heart. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my fucking throat is killing me. 
But yeah, so and it takes control away from your player, which is my least favorite thing. And it's like, ah, uh, it's like so frustrating. And I honestly don't like it as a game design. No wonder what's down here. I bet there's gonna be a mini boss down here, isn't there? Why uh, would you look at that? It's a mini boss. God damn it! God damn it! Fuck it! God damn it! Stop hit hurting me! Come over this way. Oh, there we go. God damn it! All right. What else do I have to take them out? Uh, this is my best bet, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's see if I can find an easier way to take them out now. God damn it! Really? That does nothing to them? Wow, really? Come on, that's douchey. Maybe this will do something to them? No, maybe not. I guess I just gotta keep hitting at him. Alright, I did it. There we go. Um, okay, so what's inside here? I got the cane of Pachi. This mystical rod has the power to flip things over. Use it to charge up energy and holes and then flip up on out of it. That did not make any sense the way I read it. Anyway. So let's keep going. And then eventually you can probably be able to test it out. So basically what this cane does is it flip things over. You can flip basically anything over, like this. Boink. See? Flips it right the fuck over. See? Hey kid, why don't you take that cane of Pachi and fire it at that hole? I mean, you never know what'll happen until you try, right? I mean, they literally just told me that. Can't go in there anyway. So when you fire the cane of Pachi at a hole, and you jump into it, it'll uh, let you jump up onto higher platforms. Oh hey, there's a little, uh, whatever that thing's called, a portal to this area in case I need to get back. Run! Okay, so now I can use this to flip this over. And I can get inside of it. Just like that. And I can use this to, uh, grab whatever's in this. So, push this into the hole. And then let's see what's inside of it. I got a small key. Awesome. Very useful. And now keep going go up this way because now I have the key that I can use to open this up and see what's inside oh, there's a whole nother floor awesome oh okay so now we got traps here that move regardless of whether or not um, that move regardless of whether or not I get close to them and I feel like the situation here is pretty obvious. I'm supposed to become small and try to dodge my way around those, I suppose. Or do that, for some reason. But for now, I'm gonna have to leave it here because we're all out of time. Because I'm uh, running up on 20 minutes here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and um, in the next part, we'll probably figure out this whole puzzle. Which I probably just already figured out. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We're gonna beat this temple and uh, get the element that goes along with it. So, thank you for watching, and um, if you enjoyed this video, check out my channel for a lot more videos just like it, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.